One of the great things about SEO is that once you've climbed to the top, it doesn't have to cost you all that much to stay there. The problem is it can take an awfully long time to get to that point. PPC, meanwhile, offers you the precise opposite strengths and weaknesses. PPC stands for pay-per-click and is the main form of advertising online. Pay-per-click essentially means that as an advertiser, you only get charged each time somebody actually clicks on one of your adverts. So, in other words, it doesn't cost you anything to have your advert published on a website. If no one ever clicks on it, you'll never pay a cent. But each time someone does click on it, you'll be charged X amount of money. This has a lot of handy advantages, as do many of the other features of PPC. So let's dive in and take a closer look. So how much exactly do you pay for each click? And where will your ads show? What's the best way to make the most money from it? Well, essentially, you get to decide precisely how much you want to pay for each click. The caveat is, the less you pay, the less your advert will get seen. That's because ads are shown based on a bidding system. Whenever a space becomes live, all of the relevant ads will be compared and the one that pays the highest will get shown. That means you can get clicks for one cent if you're in a niche with zero competition, but for a much more competitive industry, you can end up paying as much as $5 per click. The good news is you only pay the amount you need to beat the next highest competition. So if your maximum bid is $5, but there's only one competitor who's paying $1, you'll get the ad for $1 and one cent. As well as setting how much you're willing to pay, which is known as your minimum bid, you can also set how much you're willing to pay per week or per month. This is your budget, and by setting this, you can ensure that you never spend more cash than you have. The great thing about this system is it means you can actually guarantee ROI for your business. You do this by calculating how much it's going to cost you to bring each new visitor to your site, which will be equal to your CPC, or cost per click. You then look at your conversion rate, in other words, what percentage of new visitors become paying customers, and then you compare these numbers. So if one in every 100 visitors buys something from you, in other words, a 1% conversion rate, and your product earns you $50 per sale, that means each visitor is worth $50 divided by 100, or 50 cents. As long as you're paying less than that per click, you should earn profit from the campaign. This also means you'll need a daily budget of a certain amount in order to see daily returns. There is another great benefit to PPC advertising too. It allows you to target specific types of visitors very precisely. Targeting means ensuring only people you really want to see your ads will see them, and that can prevent you from wasting money advertising to people who won't be interested in buying from you. If you're selling skateboards to skaters, you should find your conversion rate goes up significantly versus trying to sell pens to skaters. So, how does all this work? Well, there are two main PPC programs out there at the moment. These are Facebook ads, and Google AdWords. There are some others, but they aren't so big. Google AdWords show ads on search terms, and in that way it works just like SEO. Your aim here is to make sure that you're paying for your ads to show up on search terms with enough viewers and that are targeted to your precise audience. You can do this using local search terms again, or you can do it by using search terms that specifically relate to your niche. And you can see the ads are here at the top where it says ad. Quite often, they'll also have them down here on the right-hand side in a search result as well. Now, Facebook ads, on the other hand, gives you even more targeting options. With Facebook ads, your adverts will show on users' Facebook pages on the right or in their home feeds. You can then ensure that people only see the ads if they are the right age and sex, or if they have the right hobbies and interests, or have the right income, and if they're in the right location. 
Google has the advantage of showing ads to people who are currently searching for services and products, whereas Facebook ads can be interruptive. You can even use Google AdWords as a way to test whether certain keywords are worth pursuing with your SEO. But by closely targeting only people who are likely to be interested in your product, Facebook ads allow you to avoid wasting money on clicks from people who would never have bought from you in the first place. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.